was a great week um, for Northern Colorado Bears baseball, and we needed this. Um, it started last week, Wednesday, uh, the first practice after Air Force uh, away game. We came back and we needed to regain focus because it was not headed in the right direction. And with the talent that we have here and uh, you know the commitment that we have here at UNC, um, we had a great practice and it was a purposeful practice and we reset everybody. We got our things right and we knew what our task was this weekend. This was a great weekend for UNC base, Bears baseball, not just because of the three wins against a, a quality opponent on the other side of the mountain, but um, it gave us a chance to move forward in our, in our postseason hopes into the WAC conference tournament. So um, great weekend, very few times in a coach's career do you have all four facets come together in a given weekend. Uh, it is rare to have your pitching, your defense, your hitting, and also your community. We're talking about Lotzenheiser, Cook, and Chiraki um, coming in, really putting stops on it, especially the, the, the end of yesterday's uh, cap, our third, third and final sweep game. Chiraki coming in and just shutting the door. And that was big for us. And um, if we can continue that into our last four weekends of conference play, springboard us into postseason play, um, who knows? Who knows? But our starting pitching with Apple and uh, Werbach and then Tanner yesterday. Tanner going, um, you know, obviously uh, take away the five walks from him, the one hit. You know, I just told him, I'm still looking for you to be perfect. He had a chance to throw a perfect game yesterday, just take those walks out. But uh, he's good. He's, he's going well. And the conditions yesterday, Pitt, with the winds coming in, um, uh, played very well for Nick Tanner and uh, what he did yesterday. Um, you know, we, it was, wasn't anything that we didn't think he was able to do in his abilities. And, uh, you know, he got us a chance to uh, take that last game. I, I told the team down the line yesterday, I'm just proud of you guys on, on how we conducted ourselves the whole weekend with uh, obviously our, um, our community, our, our service to children yesterday. And uh, you could have lost focus on things here and there, but we've been through this before. You know, we're in Abilene sitting in a hotel room with two inches of ice outside. So we were waiting to play and we really wanted to play that weekend. Our guys are resilient. This is a good team. I like these guys, they're resilient. Um, they're just, as soon as, as soon as the umpires take the field, they're ready to play again. And that's what we did. So that hour and 10 minute rain delay on Saturday, pulled the tarps off, wheeled it out, warmed up, played three innings and we won. And these guys, um, you know, uh, they didn't surprise me. Uh, they want to play, and uh, they, they showed it, and uh, that was a, a great first game to go get in uh, those circumstances. And I will say, um, you know, our support staff here at UNC, um, all of you, as well as uh, Kevin Robinson and, uh, you know, uh, Steve and, and Joe here on, on the field crew, we wouldn't have got these games in if it wasn't for everyone uh, support staff. Uh, from UNC Athletics and uh, our players are grateful, our coaches are grateful and that goes with softball, getting those games in or that single game, they try to get the second and it, it was a challenge. And then obviously tennis too. So um, no, th thanks to the athletic staff as well. Starts tomorrow then. Um, yes, the Tuesday games, uh, we, don't, we don't lose intent or focus. What we do is we, uh, we have a, a different set of, uh, of abilities on the mound. So we're gonna start our young guy on the mound tomorrow, but we gotta play defense and we gotta hit. Um, we can't fall behind like we have done in the last couple weekends on Tuesday, midweek games. In non-conference games, they all count. They all count. We wanna win as many of these non-conference games as we can. Uh, to prepare us, obviously, to get us momentum going into the weekend like we just had here. Okay, so tomorrow with Metro State, we're going to go, uh, you know, with our full lineup that you saw on Sunday. We're going to roll that out. Zach Keith is going to start on the mound, and we're going to go from there. But um, it's very important for us. Heading down to UTPA on, on uh, Friday, uh, three-game set with those guys. Um, we don't want to wake a sleeping giant. That's a pretty good ball club down there on the border. Um, they're capable, and I think they're Two, two, two games uh, in the left column in the whack with one tie, I think. Uh, we don't want to wake a sleeping giant. So we're going to keep playing and keep, uh, you know, putting the pressure on and, and, and gain the advantage, um, you know, in our season going down the stretch here.